buy and sell. Welcome to taking stock. What are you going to buy and sell? All right. Clickbait, buy and sell. So we have something for the title. Buy or sell MJF. This is uh, Sid's light. Sid, I'll let you go first. Buy or sell? Taking stock. MJF's been all over the place. What are you doing? I'm pretty much always buying MJF. I think he's a generational talent. And one of those guys you just can't do without. I like MJF. And I've been all over the place. But right now I'm selling MJF. What? Because I what? tricked you. You did Yeah, me. I tricked you. The tag team shit is stupid. Every time he goes into a <laughs> tag team match, handicap or with a random mystery partner... Or who fucking knows? Samoa Joe who can't decide what side he's on. He's best friends. They're enemies. He's booked like he's crazy. I don't know. Whatever they're doing. MJF, please. Just just, please, just fight. Just fight normal matches. You didn't have to do Jay White like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm selling him after the Jay White match. And the thing is, pretending to cry afterwards like made it even worse. And then on top of that, it's like, well, I'm fucking 20 fucking two and I got a big wiener. I was like, Jesus fucking well, dude, Christ. No, think about this. He's always crying he, about something. I'm selling it. All him. four members of the Bullet Club goal came, uh, got injured by the feud with MJF. Think about it. He beat he beat the guns. That alone, you know, hurts the guns. Yeah. Uh, the, the roll of quarters thing with Juice... That got Juice in tons of fucking trouble in social media, and they had to roll it back. Um, the and then Jay White, we all know about Jay White, you know. He yeah, that match after was fucking having badass. already won a, a a tag team match by himself earlier in the night, and then being injured, <laughs> comes still back from comes hospital, out, yeah. beats him. Here's the thing, too. Like everyone's like, "Oh, the fucking story. It's a story. It's a story. It's a story. It's a story. It's Christmas. It's the holiday season." I want you to go to non-wrestling fans and explain Samoa Joe. I was going to sell Samoa Joe, and then Raccoon was like, you did that last week. I'm selling MJF, and I'm selling Samoa Joe. If The story is so fantastic. Go talk to a non-wrestling fan. I don't want you to go to fucking WWE fucking Stan Joe. I don't want you to go to fucking uncle who loves AEW. I want you to go... To a grandfather, uncle, an aunt, a cousin, a nephew, someone who doesn't watch pro wrestling, and explain Samoa Joe's storyline, and they will slowly walk away and say, you're stupid for liking such a fucking dumb story. Samoa Joe, the storyline, is the dumbest motherfucker on planet Earth. I don't know why you don't respect Samoa Joe. I love Samoa Joe, the person, even though he did unfollow me on Twitter. But the character is... Fucking beyond dumb. Beyond fucking dumb. Beyond dumb. Beyond. Stupid. Dumb. Dummy head. It's the worst. So, yeah. I'm selling MJF because not only is he fucking mentally weak, he, he's just fucking, you know, oh, that was a great match. Jay White didn't think it was a great match. No one else did. You know, oh, it told a story. What story? What fucking story? If I fucking went to you, let's say I go to see Grandpa Raccoon on Christmas. Does Grandpa Raccoon watch wrestling? Uh, no. All right, so I go to Gra <laughs> They're all dead. Well, okay. Do you have any alive relatives? You fucking orphan yeah. bastard. Lucky the orphan on sale can buy it in print. Dude, is that not the best fucking ad read ever? <laughs> all right, so let's just say you have... Uh, raccoon relative and i explain the story to samoa joe they walk away thinking i'm a dumbass like dude stop i'm walking away i feel like that's most wrestling stories i know but they rub their nipples i want a story i want a story i want a story explain explain the fucking story of samoa joe you can't it's stupid it's all fucking dumb even if samoa joe is the devil it's still fucking dumb samoa joe and I, fuck, and you know what? I'm just to be honest here, Samoa Joe. And here's the thing. MJF's winning. Samoa Joe's not winning. So it's a waste of everyone's fucking time. Spoiler! MJF wins, and then he fucking cries. Just hopefully he'll have a good fucking match. There we go. Um, I'm buying. 
I'm buying Monday Magic, boys. I'm going to Monday Magic. I want a weekly show in Noah. Monday Magic coming back all the fucking time. Buying it right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm buying a Continental Classic. Buying Monday Magic. And I'm also buying a World Tag League. I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would be. It seems like they put the stupidity at a different level. So, what's something you're buying? You're over here so negative. You need to buy sleep. something. You're buying sleep? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we're already at the two-hour mark. <laughs> when, we, when we plan these out, the, the buy-ins, let's, let's, as the kids would say, let's shoot. The buy and sell taking stock segment depends if we're at 55 minutes or an hour. So, like, if, like, let's say we're, like, got a long time to go to an hour, we'll just keep mentioning stuff we're buying and selling so that we make sure we reach our time. But we got the gift of gab, and we're over two hours. So I think this is the end of the buy and sell segment. Give me one buy that's not sleep. We're ending it on positive PD, Sid Light. Give me one buy. I'm buying Ripley fighting a man. Oh, that's not bad. Let's Actually, see if it I'm buying our truce return. As the best return of the week. Hell yeah. CM Punk actually the worst return of the pay-per-view. I don't know. Randy Orton's return was pretty ass. Randy Orton's return is exciting. What are you talking about? Uh, dude, nothing beats our truth Can we, can we at least agree? Excited. Well, yeah, no. He can't touch our truth but he's definitely way more exciting than Punk. Yeah. He hears voices in his head. He does hear voices They understand him. But don't you care about CM Punk finally going home? No. He's home. He's going to be sucking. What is the phrase he uses? Wow, wow. <laughs> oh, uh, Saudi, blood, Saudi. bloody, Saudi blood dick money. Yeah, see, he's going to be doing that. Well, I mean, and then he's not there these. for friends. He's there for money, says someone a couple months ago won a union. <laughs> oh, uh, he'll do anything for attention. Good, bad, or ugly. He's like, look at me. I'm a good guy. <laughs> I don't know. And here's the thing. I don't mean to be mean. And this is a CM Punk AEW thing. I'm selling CM Punk as a tough guy. You can't get your ass whooped as much as you've got your ass whooped in life and be like, I'm the baddest man on the planet bullshit. Like, I would stick with controversial or eyeballs are on me. But Luke sometimes Perry he's like, I'm the best. Creative, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a big fan of Ryback, but I've been giggling at his fucking, uh, his social media. Ryback, I'm buying his social media. It's stupid, but it's awesome. He makes out with Shrek. There you go. All right, Sid's Light is falling asleep, so make sure to check out Sid's Light on the Twitch machine, the Twitter machine, the X machine, the YouTube machine, wherever you find Sid's Light. Um, I am Coco Plays on YouTube, Coco Sports everywhere else, and you... The biggest return in pro wrestling is me coming back to Twitch Monday or Tuesday. I haven't made a decision yet. You know what? Should I just man or up and do it Monday? Or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday? I or... think I'm predicting Wednesday. All right. Put your predictions when I return to Twitch. I will be the biggest return in pro wrestling. And I have a Over. Tony. Just so you uh... guys know, if there were betting odds, if this were Vegas, Monday's the day you could win the biggest amount. <laughs> And and and, and, and I have a, is the lowest. I have Tony Khan. I have Tony Khan. I have I have Tony Khan. Uh, a size announcement. Okay, Tony Khan size announcement. Also, Lucky the Orphan is now in print. So it's the perfect holiday gift. It's about an Big orphan. It's it's about an orphan who would do anything for a Nintendo. I'll do anything for a Nintendo. It takes place in the 80s. It's a pretty cool time. It gets sure it real out. dark, guys. No, the not compared to Operation, Operation Freak Show. Freak Show. No. And that's about what happens to the people who made him do the things to get the Nintendo. No, Oper Operation, Operation Freak Show is a lot darker than Lucky the Orphan. So Yeah, because he got the Nintendo, but at what price? Oh, you only know if you buy the book. Buy 12. Buy Both from for your family. Them. Listen, dude. Read the read the book. Read the the first one, Lucky the Orphan, which was written as a prequel, and then read the original, which is <laughs> as a sequel now. Uh, Operation Freak Show. Yeah, that, just buy them all. Buy everything, and hopefully we'll get more books out. Hopefully we'll get written more by, books out. Written by Cocolo Popolos. Exactly. Buy twelve copies today. He's there Greek. you go. I am Greek. That is true. Well, at least my last name is Greek. I don't know what I am. 
I'm I'm half Raptor. All streamer. Anyway. Scratch. Coco Sports on everything. Lucky the Orphan. Sid's Light. Make it a Christmas trilogy. With that, I am over. Hey, remember we were only going to go one hour? Yeah, I knew that was a lot. Hey. Oh.